10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off the Falcon 9. Drop AVIRC and GNC and proceed to procedure 3.170 for post launch flight operation. GC, move to section. Post launch pad operations to secure the pad on net A. Moving the post launch pad operations. It would be to use after. T minus 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the third space-based infrared system for the United States Air Force. And we start a closed loop control on Atlas PU. Engine continues to operate normally. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. 30 seconds into the mission, everything works good. Engine continues to operate at 100% thrust. Vehicle's flying right down the center of the range track. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP décollage. So right out. 
schedule at 1839 local. Ariane 5 beginning her mission, lifting off perfectly and beautifully from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot Tous of fire. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of normal, 7, 8, 9, Perfect lift off as usual for PSLV and you can see in all glory PSLV negotiating the dense atmosphere, all the strap ons running well. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and lift off of the Falcon 9 to the space station on the first commercial launch from Kennedy Space Center's historic Pad 39A. Pad operations on Pad 9A. Copy, Wilco. Stage 1 propulsion phenomenal. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition of the RD-180 main engine. One, liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NROL-79 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. HP80 et décollage. La propulsion est nominale. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off. Lift off.
システム7完了6543エンジン点火01 SRPA 点火ディスオフ4 5 6 7 8 9 10Minus ten, ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, R sixty eight A engine ignition, one, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS nine mission for the United States Air Force. What a great way to celebrate the Air Force's seventieth birthday. Full thrust. SRM uh, burn profile is also looking good. Light. SRM uh, chamber pressure is beginning to tail off off of uh, max pressure. 30 seconds in. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch Mach vehicle one, Delta 4 is now supersonic. Now passing 46 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic. Power and Slump 2 nominal. Minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go for main engine start, one, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn, extending the research legacy for living and working in space. Our roll program has begun. Fire rates look good.
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage EAP et décollage. Wait or not? Ariane 5 beginning her mission, lifting off beautifully from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire. Beginning her mission, the fourth for Ariane Space this year with her two new satellites for different regions from Latin America.
mode de stabilisation du lanceur. は10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcan Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 237 Well, no doubt about it, night has turned to day, and the rumble in the Amazon jungle is that mighty Ariane 5 ECA. She's roaring out over Devil's Island. Take a look at that picture right now. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. The 100th liftoff from Launch Pad 39A as Falcon and Dragon take flight to the International Space Station. First stage propulsion nominal. Plus one, plus two, plus two, plus three, plus four, 
plus five, plus six, plus seven, lift off normal, plus nine, plus ten seconds. Just heard the announcement, lift off normal. Before tracking, plus fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds into the flight. Plus twenty seconds. Yes, one. First stage performance normal. Indicated as normal. Plus twenty five seconds. Plus thirty seconds. Step aside for the launch. And we have ignition. We have positive thrust and liftoff of the ILS Proton launch vehicle with the EchoStar 21 satellite on board. seconds after liftoff, the launch vehicle performs a roll maneuver to align the launch vehicle pitch access with the planned northeasterly launch azimuth. The vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q which is the aerodynamic force on the vehicle has peaked. For Standing by for engine sequence start, T minus 10 seconds. Ignition. The launch command has now been issued. Engine start underway. Turbo pumps coming up to flight speed. Engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 67th Progress Resupply Vehicle bound on a two day journey to the International Space Station. Roll pitch and yaw program in. Booster parameters are all normal. Parameters are normal. First stage engine functioning normally. Space thrusters operating normally. Soyuz booster arcing out uh, to the northeast from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Bazi Северного в мире космодрома Беседск. I 
copies. GC, moving close to launching out operations. GC copies. Way to delivering Bulgaria Sat 1 to a geostationary transfer orbit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off the Falcon 9. Prop AVI RC and GMC can see the speeder 3.170 for post launch flight operations. GC, move to post launch pad operations to secure the pad on pad net A. Copy, we'll go. Power and telemetry nominal. T plus 53 seconds into flight. We 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP, décollage. de bord sans nomino. La propulsion est nominale. In French Guiana with a lot of fire. Nice shot of the birds on the port side as she took off. I don't know if you could see that. Minus five, four, three, two, one. Recognition. Lift off of Delta Nine. Delta Nine is in the tower. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching down range. Plus 50 seconds into flight. You're
6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P80, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off the about... balcony. You are watching the Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Dragon spacecraft as it ascends through the atmosphere en route to the International Space Station. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. Tedris M securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. Denver Network Operations Center and Command well. Control Center. Pump speed and injector pressure is all looking good. Now we have data coming directly from the rocket. The Atlas and rocket carrying t uh, will reach supersonic control. speed at 1 minute and 20 seconds into flight. 7, エキスエロケット35号機は平成29年8月19日午後2時29分00秒に種子島宇宙センターから打ち上げられました。ロケットの完成は吉野部発射管制塔から竹崎総合司令塔に引き継がれています。50。ロケット。10、9、8、7、6、5、4、3、2、1。Put down the top of the Drop AVIRC and GMC, proceed to proceed to 3.170 for post-launch flight operations. Stay on propulsion, it's not on. GC, please move to post-launch pad operations and secure the pad on head net 8.
nine eight seven six five four three two one ignition and liftoff of the Minotaur 4 rocket carrying the ORS 5 spacecraft for the United States Air Force. Avionics power is nominal. LC, RCO, countdown net, lift off, first motion time. Mach 2, motor pressure nominal. And we lift plus off. Seven, lift off plus normal. Eight, plus nine, PSL lift off normal. Redignition of the solid core booster and the four solid strap ons. Plus 20 seconds. So 20 seconds into the flight. Plus 20 seconds. Plus 20 seconds. The performance has been declared as normal. The air lift strap on has been successfully ignited in 25 seconds. Seconds into the flight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have ignition and liftoff of an ILS proton launch vehicle with the Amazonas 5 satellite on board. Now about two minutes after liftoff, the launch vehicle performs a roll maneuver to align the launch vehicle pitch axis with the planned northeasterly launch azimuth. Now the vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure or max Q, now, which is when the aerodynamic force on the vehicle has peaked. For Proton, max Q occurs about 62 seconds after liftoff at a velocity of Mach 1.6. Physical condensation that appears to be a, a steam stream of smoke can be observed if conditions are favorable. One more umbilical to separate. And there you can see the engines now firing. The launch command issued. These engines now ramping up. Engine, turbo pumps at flight speed, engines at max. And liftoff. Mark Vandehei, Alexander Mazurkin, and Joe Acaba lifting off and now on their way to the International Space Station. 10 seconds. over 10 seconds already into the flight, getting good first stage performance. So he's delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four boosters and the core engine. Yeah, 
40 seconds and the vehicle is stable. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We have ignition of the RD-180 main engine. One, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NROL-42 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 239. Les paramètres à bord sont corrects. And DDO calls out that all is working flawlessly on board. Ariane 5, right on time, begins her mission, lifting off with a lot of fire, as you saw, carrying her two new satellites. The two boosters are providing a 90, that's 90% of our thrust right now. GC copies, welcome. Junior, Junior. 
機動用電子機動電子システム準備完了運転エンジンスタート平成29年10月10日午前7時1分37秒に種子島宇宙センターから打ち上げられ打ち上げ以降ロケットの管制は由伸発射管制塔から竹崎総合司令塔に引き継がれています。The uh, second tower now uh, is beginning uh, to retract. The automated launch sequence underway. Standing by for main engine start. Main engine start initiated. Turbo pumps and engines up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 68th Progress resupply craft bound on a two day journey to the International Space Station. Good roll, yaw, and pitch program reported. Good parameters. Stage one engines operating normally. The Soyuz boosters arcing out to the northeast. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, have ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NRL 52 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Switching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal.
power telemetry nominal. T plus 50 seconds in today's mission. We are on our way to delivering Korea Sat 5A to a geostationary transfer orbit. Agent Zero TV is squibbed. T minus 10 seconds. Mark. L minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Liftoff of Minotaur C carrying the Skysat and Dove satellites for planet. Attitude is nominal. Attitude remains nominal as the Castor 120 Stage 0 motor propels the 104 foot tall Minotaur C vehicle away from Vandenberg Air Force Base. HP 80, décollage. Liftoff confirmed, Antares and the SS Gene Cernan now bound for the International Space Station. out to the southeast, approaching the one-minute mark into flight. We throttle back up to full power. Everyone is go. T-minus six, five, four, three, two, engine start. One, and liftoff of Delta II and NOAA's Joint Polar Satellite System 1, making the U.S. a more weather-ready nation. The Delta II is proceeding on a flight azimuth of 196 degrees. Just to the
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 240 Galileo Falcon 7. Attendez, tout se passe bien pour euh, ce vol. Un décollage majestueux, toujours aussi puissant de cette Ariane 5. C'est toujours un grand moment que d'assister à un décollage. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Et le liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft filled with science and supplies for humanity's research outpost in low Earth orbit, the International Space Station. SpaceX ascent commentary will be performed by several people. The propulsion engineer calls out propulsion events. The avionics engineer calls out avionics health and dragon separation. The range coordinator calls out Air Force satellite control network acquisition and loss of signal. And the ground station specialist calls out the SpaceX antenna acquisition and loss of signal. At one minute, five seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 reaches transonic speed. The vehicle will pass through an area of maximum dynamic pressure, known as max Q, at 1 minute 18 seconds after liftoff. This is the point where mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's atmosphere. Around 2 minutes 24 seconds into the flight, the nine Merlin engines will sequentially shut down and you'll hear the call Miko. See the fires lit, the engines start to roar and lift off. Scott Tingle, Anton Shkaplerov, and Nora Sheehy Kenai on their way to the International Space Station. Anton Shkaplerov already calling down everything going well on board, everything reported fine. Performance calls coming in, the engines performing nominally or normally. Getting good first stage performance, the Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four boosters and that single core engine. The first stage measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. All systems are go. Activating the thermal batteries. Main engine start. Main engine ignition. We have a lift off of the H-2A launch vehicle number 37 carrying Shikisai and Tsubame from the JAXA Tanegashima Space Center at 10.26.22 a.m. on December 23rd, 2017 Japan Standard Time. Following liftoff, the operation control of the launch vehicle has been switched from the blockhouse to the range control center. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off, top nine. Vehicle cleared to nine. Hit our propulsion now. Moving to 39170.
Есть окончание точного приведения. Есть команда на запуск двигателя первой ступени. Есть, Есть контакт подъема первой ступени. Двигатель вышел на режим. Есть начало программного разворота по тангажу. Стабилизация ракеты в норме. 20 секунд. Двигательная установка работает нормально. 30 секунд. Полет нормальный. Давление в камерах сгорания двигателя в норме. 